What's up everybody? So we're here at Keen Ramps headquarters in Long Beach, California. We just got a 40 foot ocean container full of 960 flat bars. This is our second time ordering these rails. We did a run once before of like 380 or something. We went through those in about a year, which was a little quicker than we thought we would. So we're re-upping, kind of double, if not tripling down here. So this is like the one thing that we do make overseas. Everything else is made here at our warehouse in Long Beach. It's all cut on the CNC. It's all wood, quarter pipes, kickers, boxes, mini ramps. So that's all made in the US. This is the one thing we do export just because metal is crazy right now. And then on top of that, you know, getting somebody to weld it and package it. So we found a good source to get these made and they're pretty much like dialed. They're as perfect as they, a flat bar can be. So we made a tech pack and called out all the things we wanted and the things we looked at the things we didn't like about other flat bars. So we made some things thicker. We put the legs in different spots so the rail doesn't bounce as much. We put these little gussets down at the bottom of the feet so the feet of the rail don't like taco up and it's not gonna tip. So we kind of beefed it up and we made what in our opinion is the perfect flat bar and we got a whole bunch of them. So look out for some new initiatives with these flat bars that we're gonna do. And then later on, maybe next spring or summer, I wanna do a thing called flat barbecue, where we pick a handful of skate shops, pull up, do a barbecue, throw a contest, little best trick, winner takes home a flat bar. So if you got more ideas for stuff that we can do with these flat bars, please drop it in the comments, let us know. Yeah, hopefully you enjoy this video. It's kind of cool just to see so much of one thing. It's really overwhelming. We've been unloading this thing for about two and a half hours now. We unfortunately have to do it all by hand because it's not on pallets because they wanted to get as many as they could possibly get in this thing. So yeah, two and a half hours in, we're only halfway through. So um, Adrian's getting pizza right now and then we'll take a little break and then all these flat bars are gonna be out. So um, yeah, we'll probably give a few to some of our friends that are pros and ask them to help us promote them. We'll probably be doing some giveaways with them via YouTube, Instagram, things like that, or partnering with other companies. So be on the lookout for all of that. Thank you for watching. All right, so 960 rails are now out of this truck. It's like 4.30, so it pretty much took us the whole day. Granted, we took a long lunch and had pizza and you know, spent time organizing these and then stacking up the other ones, shrink wrapping them, all that. But I figure you guys are gonna sit through like eight to 15 minutes or however long this video is. Might as well show you a flat bar. Not really anything different than the ones we did on our first run. The only thing that's slightly different is that the logo changed a little bit. Our first one was kind of like rougher lines and it had a quarter pipe. So we took the quarter pipe off just cause these are rails and just didn't think that was that intuitive to have a little quarter pipe on there and then just have a cleaner logo. And then I just gave them some feedbacks on the first one. The little rubber pads on the bottom hit, like were moving around. So I asked them to use a heavier duty adhesive and I just gave some feedback on the logos itself and the uh, heat transfer that they do. So hopefully those look better for a longer period of time. So I'm gonna open this one up. So it comes in here, little zip tie. So I actually haven't seen one of these in person. Yep. Got the little holes just in the event you want to mount it to something. You got like a wood deck or concrete anchors or whatever the case might be. And then just like last time, you can mount your leg either way, which is kind of nice if you're doing something gnarly or fakey and you want to approach the flat bar a little closer to it. So that's cool. And then we got these little gussets here for the added support so that this plate on the bottom doesn't taco up. Got our little back call logo there. KR. I don't know how they get the paint so perfect. It's so even and shiny. Rail itself, six foot long. Got the cap ends. Got a little warning label, don't kill yourself, know your limits, whatever that thing says. Three adjustable heights, it goes nine inches at the lowest, 11 at the mid, 13 at the highest. I really like 11 personally. 13's nice too, 
and then you know the nine if you're learning something or just starting out it's good for that so here's kind of what i was talking about about that logo more or less the same as last time but the lines themselves are a little bit sharper we're just trying to you know clean up our image and not be as rough as time goes on and kind of the same logic with the kr back call thing i've just noticed as brands establish themselves they don't lean on explaining what they do so eventually i want to kind of weave into things just saying keen and kr and get that recognition. Rail's pretty lightweight, all in. It's like 27 pounds. So it's super easy to just throw on your shoulder, skate down the street. You can put this in any car. I've seen people put them in Miatas and little hatchbacks and Civics and Priuses and everything like that. One of the things kind of cool, leg placement. This is a minor change, but the factories overseas that make these, you know, they're making rails for everybody. And you get a lot of companies that just say, yeah, make me a rail and you're gonna get the same old rail that everybody else does. This has a slight modification. Instead of there being like a foot of the leg being at the end, we only did six inches there. So when you're learning tricks, you usually are tapping them. So there's less likelihood for that rail to bounce up when you're tapping it. Nothing drives me more crazy than a flat bar edit where the rail is bouncing. So little minor thing there. And then the only other thing this comes with is, oh, the pins. And I know everybody always loses these, so if you lose them, hit us up. We'll probably just send you some for free or charge you ship. We got a big giant box of them. So these just pop in here. We'll set it up at the middle setting. Little ball bearing there. That little washer stops it. And then this is just a personal preference OCD thing, but I like to put it where it says Keen Ramps and has the logo on this side, and then a little back call on this side, just so it's opposing depending on how you're filming. You can always get a logo. And then you have like the diagonal back calls and the diagonal Keen Ramps on the side of the rail. So I just think it looks sharp like that. There it is. I'm kind of spent from unloading that thing, getting in and out, a little out of shape, but um, yeah, I'll give it at least, at least four or five. We'll call it four or five tricks. And let's see how it does with no wax, and I'll kind of give some feedback on how it skates right out the gate.
No, that don't count. No. <laughs>